Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. So in this episode, I'm finally trying out some challenge mode raids. A lot of people wanted me to try some, despite not having the best gear, but it's okay. I think after getting the lance, it's well worth giving it a shot and showing you guys what it's like. And also, I need to prepare though. I need to get some dragon bolts because I ran out. So yeah, back to Vorkath. Luckily, lance melee Vorkath is super nice for that. I'm trying to collect a thousand dragon bolts to make some dragon ruby bolts. We got the melee setup, no DFS, no uh, super anti fire, so we're just gonna use anti fire shield. D claws for spec it might be a little tricky. Have to spec in between the attacks. So I'm using DBA so that I don't have to use super combats. I'm using super combats for other things. So with the DBA and super attack and defense, I can get the same effect. Have you ever wanted to make your own videos, but you're not sure how to start? Well, today's sponsor is brought to you by Wondershare from More 10, the best and simple to use video editing software available. As you can see, I edited parts of this video using For More 10 to show you how easy it is to do important editing tasks like transitions and cuts, making it very beginner friendly. For More comes with a bunch of other advanced features if you wish to push your editing to the next level, such as chroma keying and stabilization. Pricing is great. Lifetime is only $70 or you can try for free first. One of you guys can get a free 1 year for more 10 license. All you have to do is write in the comments what you like about for more 10 with the hashtag create with Formora, and you may get chosen. So let me know in the comments. So go ahead and make your first awesome video today using the links in the description to download Wondershare for more 10. Back to the progress. Dang, that was so OP. I, uh, holy shit, nice. Damn, I only used one food that kill. What the hell? Crazy. Damn, this is so OP, bro. I just don't use, like, I just don't use food. We just did our second kill, and, uh, yeah, I, I just used two mantis so far. Three mantis. <laughs> it's actually so crazy. What the hell? What the hell, bro? And it could be way better, too. I don't even have, like, the most ideal setup or anything. Oh, wait. I should bring my Defender, because I remember when I dodge the Fireball attacks, I can put on my Defender and just get some free damage. Oh, let's go. First Dragon Bolt drop. Let's freaking get it. Took a while, man. Jeez. Finally. There we go. Put on that Defender and just get some more uh, accuracy in there. Pretty good trick if uh, <laughs> you don't have any super antifires for whatever reason, like me. Please kill it. Nice. Yeah, defenders flicking is helping out a lot. Oh, I got it. Nice. Nice. We're done for the day. We'll get another 500 tomorrow. I'm at 500 now, so that's good. But yeah, I was gonna make some super antifires for tomorrow, but honestly, I don't really need to. I could just save the four cap bones repair instead. Uh, I have no trouble uh, a furnic flicking. Honestly, it's pretty, pretty nice and chill. Nice, damn, four kill trip, and I still had plenty of supplies. Using just the good old anti poison. <laughs> like to start off every kill with an angler. You know, it's just nice not having to eat in the middle of uh, this bounce. Yo, I did it! The 1,000th Dragon Bolt for this session. Hell yeah, we did it. Alright, so that's uh, another item prepared for the challenge mode raids. Now we just gotta get the Sang Staff, and uh, I think we should be good. I made a bunch of Staminas already. But I was averaging easily 3.5 kills just with this. Probably like 6, 7, you know? With super anti-fires and anti-venoms and whatnot. We did 274 Vorkats, 2,000 bolts, so 137 Vorkats approximately to get 1,000 Dragon Bolts. 
for those of you guys that's wondering so that could be four to five hours to get a thousand not too bad uh, alongside you know all the extra supplies that you get so all right so we're getting ready for some challenge mode experimental solos without the t-bow and um yeah we, we're having we're having some issues figuring things out but we finally kind of figured out what i need to do so i really wanted to bring the brimstorm ring right because we got it but because of the nature of inventory slots and the fact that i feel like i need melee max hits more than anything we're just gonna have to bank the the brimstone ring just because uh, ancestral hat right now gives me a max hit whereas the ring does not so yeah i think the hat's probably a better uh, better switch that's like the last thing that i was trying to figure out but basically once i get the sang staff though i won't need the ancestral hat i keep the max hit so I might be keen to bring the Brimstorm Ring uh, then. I'm going to have to rely on the specs a lot. Scythe just does not hit Tecton, especially the CM without the hammers. So. This is Reska from the future after doing a few CMs. So I'm here to tell you that with regards to this setup using Scythe only and not having like a mace, if I miss all my Warhammer specs at the start of Tecton, I got to reset the raid. If I land one, then there's a good chance that it's worth doing. If I land two, then really good chance that it's worth thing. Actually, I can probably. I'll just let him kill me. Yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it. Honestly, it was worth it. Trial run and uh, already, already tons of things to improve on. So inventory layout, of course, huge. I uh, brought pegs back. Forgot to mention. But yeah, these four items are kind of like items I use later on. So when it comes to doing challenge mode raids, there's a pretty heavy emphasis on logistics in terms of like making the bank and using the bank properly to save a lot of time. So there is ways to do it without a bank, but the problem is without Tebow, I don't think a no prep challenge mode solo raid is going to be even realistic for me. So I definitely have to uh, use the bank. So when it comes to the logistics of the bank, the first part of course is like kind of how to make one. So you want to do that right before Ice Demon. And throughout this one raid, you're going to be banking multiple times to take out different equipment for different floors. I'll elaborate a bit more on the banking stuff as we traverse throughout the raids. This time, I have Venge, which is what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, this setup is, I guess, better. It's more uh, friendly for me. I love this straight line. This is such a good, like, room for the blowpipe. Because you have so much free line to move through. All right, there we go. Grab the boot shoe for this phase, and then we can just plant ahead of time. So the food prep process is pretty simple. I just make brews and restores. I am currently making a full inventory of somewhere around 20 brews and 8 restores, but I think I can probably cut down on it once I start getting, you know, really comfortable with this setup. But for now, we're starting off with that. And then afterwards, I just gear up for Vanguard's which means I bring all three styles of switches. So for the start of second floor's vanguards, it didn't change too much except I'm using a bit more DPS arsenal, like I'm venging more, I'm using a scythe more, I'm using dragon claws, which helps. Other than that, it's pretty much the same vanguards. After vangs is thieving room, same stuff, except I have a law pick from the scabs that I killed earlier to prep. And yeah, that saves a lot of time. And then next is Vespila. It's a bit trickier because no Tebow means I have to use magic, but you know, magic setup is reliable, even challenge mode. So nothing too out of the ordinary there. So third floor is definitely the biggest hurdle of them all, just because challenge mode Fossa is super tanky and the crystals take forever to kill sometimes. So it'll like teleport you extra early, which means I have to chug more brews because most of my DPS without a Tebow actually comes from vengeance. So yeah, I gotta chug Bruce for days. A lot of times I'll have to honestly go back up and just grab some more food before I even continue onwards. If it's like a really bad one. Because uh, there is also Mudadow challenge mode version at the end of this floor. And yes, it destroys food supplies as well. So it's two really tough bosses in the same floor. So It's not easy, but the Vengeance is going to help a ton, so we, we're getting Vengeance to do some serious damage. Just get that Vengeance spam. We're doing pretty good though, honestly. This, this challenge from Fossa is going pretty well. Just got to milk those Vengeance like it's no tomorrow. 
Come on, please, crossbow, kill it. Yes! Oh, God, I would love the crossbow switch, man. All right, that was great. Um, I managed to kill Fasa in two teleport bombs, so that's really good. Right, skip from the future here. This Fasa kill was my best RNG kill so far. The other ones, though, oof, they are a travesty. Oh, my goodness. It can get so bad, especially without Tebo. You'll see soon. I'm just gonna rape here, honestly, so I can uh, tank better. Oh, 51. Oh, there you go. Showing your true colors. Safe up. Basically, I have to go all the way to like 4 HP. <laughs> there's like, there's just simply no other way around it. If you're not 4 HP, you're, you're basically asking to get spanked, so. It can hit about a 34 through prayer, so yeah. If I'm under 34, I gotta take it. Every single time. I think it might be a 36, actually. Psych! <laughs> oh, actually, I lied. Yeah, yeah, I, I just remember, I think the max hit through first 36. And it confirmed it. Thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for confirming it, dude. <laughs> okay, so for this run, I used uh, five doses before I got to the boss. So uh, I think it's, yeah, it's probably in my best interest to still keep bringing three. You know how Bodhi has 73? My number, I guess, is 36. Alright, we're good though, we're good. Nice, first... First challenge for raid fully completed. Uh, we did die because of Mother Down, but it's okay. 56 minutes. You know, we're chilling. Not bad, not bad. Some coal and some lizardman things. Alright, let's go for another one. These are pretty fun right now because there's so much to... Optimize and whatnot. No! That's so lame. Great. Oh man, I... Yeah, this is really bad. Please die. Oh! Oh my god, that scared me. Alright, let's just redraw all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that looks fine. That looks fine, and then I can grab these later on. Please die. Oh man, that was a terrible fossa. Yeah. First raid, we had a really good one, and uh, this raid, we had a really bad one. Like, I don't have a choice. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to run back just to grab food, or else I'm gonna die. Oh, man, second r CM. That was- oh, a purple. That was a purple, but I was gonna say that was a struggle, man. Alright, let's see what we get, boys. Here we go. Oh, Ancestral Rope Top. Wow. Uh, that breaks the streak of like, what, eight scrolls in a row? <laughs> Yay, it's been a while since we got an Ancestral, uh, you know, item. Okay, okay. Yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Third one. We actually PB. Nice. Wait, what? Come on. 5539 says 5540. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I will, we'll definitely get way faster times though, but yeah. Oh my god, is that a reset? Please don't- Oh my god, that was so unlucky! I must have hit it by 1 HP too many, bro. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I forgot to prep enough juice, but I did have a lot of extra mushrooms, so what I did was, with the extra buchu, I made some extra restores, and I was able to do the Fispila method a little bit faster with redemption, because I can just immediately redemption after every time it went down by drinking a restore dose, whereas prayer enhance, it would take an extra second or so before the prayer point went back, so it's a little bit faster doing it this way. So the Twisted Potion I grabbed from Vanguard is super nice for Fossa just because I brew so much with this no Tebow method that overloads a lot of times won't give me the range boost at the moment, so I just drink a range potion instead and I get it. Not bad though, we PB'd beat a lot. Unfortunately, my site decided to noodle even though I landed the Warhammer, so... Sad to say. But yeah, almost did, almost got sub 50 on our 5th KC. So that was awesome. Yeah, we, we can definitely get a sub 50. For sure. But yes, the difference between a Tebo CM and a non Tebo CM, it's like night and day, you know? With a Tebo, I reckon with this level of RNG, it could have been like a sub 38 minute time or something. 37 minute time, honestly. So yeah, the difference is massive. Anyways, I'll probably do some more CMs, but I really do want to get a Sang stat because right now, this gear is, you know, barely adequate. But the last 75 raids is going to comprise 
a bit of the challenge modes and a bit of normal raids, of course, with the speed running for the normal raids as well going forward. I got you, boys. Let's go! Oh, I'm dead! Ah! ah. Holy shit! I oh my god, nice! I just froze all three aggro majors. That's actually super cool. Oh, Jesus. I'm not ready for this. Oh no, my prayer! Ah! Worst time for my prayer to run out. I'm pretty sure that's a purple, boys. Let's go. Damn, bro. We actually got a purple. Oh my god. We could be done. This is it. 875. Come on. Please, please, please. please be, a, be the Sang staff. Come on. Alright, here we go. Come on. No! Why? Every time, bro. Every time, dude. Every time. Oh, here. Nice. I still got my imbue heart. There's a major. I just don't want to die at blow, so I can keep my imbue heart boost. Because now I have two extra max hits for free. No extra space, you know, taken up. So Jagex recently made some hit splat updates for special bosses. Uh, it's mainly for people that are colorblind, but uh, basically heal splats that's given to a boss is now in like the shape of a plus sign as you can see in the clip here. And also they made like a shield symbol for when you break the boss's shield on P1 Verzig and like Nightmare, for example. It's kind of cool, some people don't like it, but I guess it's whatever. Let's charge it once again, because it's that time of the week or something. Ooh, 178. Hell yeah, back to 20k, pretty much. Rip my blitz. Hey, I hit a 900, so that means 100 more to go until the deadline, which I may or may not break the deadline, but hopefully I don't break the deadline. Wait, actually not, I'm gonna make it. Whoa, 7371, oh my god, awesome. <laughs> nice, whose is it, by the way? Oh, Blood Runes, hell yeah. Oh shit, it's JFK's? Oh, leg guards, bro, leg, JFK got leg guards. Ah, I'm glad it wasn't a saying though. <laughs> unique? Nice, unique item, cool. Fun fact, this man just got his Inferno Cape today and he uh, gambled his first Inferno Cape. Yep, yep. You can roast them in the comments. <laughs> oh, that's actually weird. Holy shit. Oh, purple, let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! Why did I type please no saying? If I type please saying, I would have gotten it, bro. Ugh. No, man. Ah, uh, damn, I don't have much. I have like no supplies, though. No. That's the important part of it. It's a huge difference, you know? Huge difference from last raid. Where it's just stuck on the wall and then we can't, we couldn't really move. Oh, a defender. Is that new? Do you need that? Nice, dude. Unique item. Good shit, bro. Grats on, uh, on a Fernic. Nice. Damn, 73 three times. Pog. Holy shit, yo. I actually got another pet. You have a funny feeling that you have been followed. What is that, like number three or four or something? When it comes to rates one and two pets, man, I get those all the time now. Actually stupid, but uh, yeah. I guess that's where all my RNG is going to, is uh, some dupe pets. Oh, damn, what the heck? Wow, that's insane, we didn't even, uh... We didn't even finish a pillar. That was actually insane. Cake W Normie. Ho ho ho, suck it. Oh my god, that was absolutely ballsy. Never do that again. Please do not try this in your TOB runs, because that, that was basically a YOLO. But yeah, that's some bad, bad luck. Oh, leg guards, man. Keep that shiz. <laughs> Keep that shiz. Nice, just got 86 agility, which means now I can comfortably boost with my summer pies and train some agility at the Arty rooftops, which will give me a lot of marks. 
as well. So yeah, hopefully this will be the last agility session ever for the series. Oh, 35 summer pies, boys. 35. That's gonna last a while, so I mean... I get the boost for 3 minutes because it's 2 as base and then preserve makes it uh, an extra 1 minute. So yeah, uh, that's good. 3 minutes times 35. That's that's like 2 hours almost of RD course I think roughly speaking. Sick, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, RD course is just so much better than freaking Relica. Gonna relish these 2 hours. For reals. Ooh, damn, 80 marks? Okay, yeah, this is good stuff here. That's 200 stamina f uh, potions, 4 doses right there. So, I think it's fair to say we're probably um, all set. 